the lapa clearly hasn't come to that realization that she's in a lot more trouble than a sex tape. She she doesn't seem to get it yet, and that's what scares me for her. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adenike Adivayo Esho, movie and lifestyle vlogger. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Woohoo! To 16,000 subscribers, all because of you. Thank you for subscribing. If you know, I spoke to Obi and I know you stole her blood. The blood belongs to. You have no heart. You have no soul, and I know your mother is turning in her grave right now. My mother is very much alive. So this episode of Rumor Has It, like I said earlier, was quite emotional. We went into it knowing that, frankly, I'd eventually found out that Dolapo had an affair. And he found out in the most awful way, which was through a sex tape on a blog. And he watched this. They started the episode with Franklin and a bag, a box, like, okay, he's leaving the house for her, he's done with her. Well, maybe not done with her, but he's so upset right now, like, he probably can't even stand her. But on his way out, I thought it was interesting that the director had Franklin standing on the staircase and then Dolapo on the floor. So you have this position of Franklin looking at, looking down at Dolapo, literally. And that just kind of placed Franklin in a position of power and in a position of upper hand i don't know maybe i'm overthinking it but that was how i felt also on his way out frankly says to dolakbo that oh i saw your messages with your friend khadija i know you think or you thought i was cheating and so when he said that i was like wait hold up does that then mean that frankly wasn't cheating you know so what does that mean what so who was the girl we saw you with at the restaurant who was the girl in the tower in the bathroom that you were exchanging a phone call with you know so what is going on what is it that we don't already know i thought it was also interesting that frankly didn't send the lack of parking you know maybe I'm, i've watched too many yora movies or, or whatever but i just thought it was interesting that he carried his bag and left her in the house well actually franklin is not nigerian sha so maybe that can excuse that is oyibo behavior so the lapo calls Femi right to confront him over the phone like what what did you do why would you do it and whatever and so the lapo says to Femi you not only made a sex tape against my will you went ahead and sold it to a blog and then Femi said no I didn't sell it and the lapo said so how did she get it and then Femi goes I gave it to her <laughs> I was like <laughs> but why do you know this guy is crazy man <laughs> It's not normal. I seen, you know what trips me? It's the way he says these things. Like, clearly, this guy is not normal. He's a psychopath. You know, he says it as if he's making sense. I mean, natural fact for those of us that are saying, people like you and me. Whoa, I pay. It doesn't make sense. Dolapo was still there asking him, well, can you hear yourself? Can you take any And I was like, Dolapo, you are see yourself, you are not completely alright upstairs. Because if you were alright, you would have known that this guy is not normal and then you insulted him. You know, she didn't say you are a psychopath out of, out of fear. She said it as an insult, you know, like, oh, you are a psychopath. And I was like, well, he is a psychopath. Roti, on the other hand, Roti is evil. The way Jemima Oshine plays that character, you know, if you're not careful, you'll, you'll start to see her. Because she plays the character so well, if you're not careful, you'll start to see her as Roti. I'm just there looking at Roti like, how can you be so evil? And you want something good to happen to you? Did anyone else think it was weird that Dolapo's friends, Khadija and Michelle, came to support her, by, And they were in the living room drinking wine and gossiping about her in her house so i thought that was interesting like shouldn't you guys be with her like is she trying to hurt herself is she okay she's in the kitchen for a freaking sake and you guys are chilling in the living room she could have grabbed a knife and cut herself like this is not a drinking wine issue there's a sex tape of her forget that her husband left her do you know the humiliation she must be feeling and you guys are there talking about her drinking wine especially michelle are there actually friends or girls like michelle that actually talk like that like 
quite a bit insensitive. I can imagine Franklin's sufferings, you know. It's different if he heard about it, if his colleague saw it and he told him about it, or maybe his friend saw it or something. He actually watched it. So forever and ever, even if he forgives her or not, those images are forever engraved in his head, in his brain. And for someone like me who has a very wild imagination, I'm so particular about what I watch and what I see. Because once you see it, you can't unsee it, you know. And so I can understand Franklin's sufferings. But at the same time, I can also understand Olakwa's sufferings. You know, she's humiliated. You know, she cheated on her husband. She not only got caught cheating on her husband, there was a sex tape that was released on a blog. Like, our NGO is probably going down the drain right now. There goes our career. There goes our colleagues. There goes humans judging her. And then our husband or someone that's supposed to be a partner is not there to help her through that. So I'm kind of like half frankly half Dolakwa right now. So Dolakwa referenced the fact that she saw in that restaurant with a lady. And frankly, kind of went like, you know what, I can like believe whatever you want to believe. So now I'm starting to feel like, okay, fine, frankly wasn't cheating, but who was that lady? I'm going to predict that the lady was probably someone that he hired to buy some diamonds or buy a house in Banana Island for dollar or something. So it's going to be, oh, that lady that I met with was supposed to do this for you because I love you. I think that's going to be the story. What do you guys think? The soundtrack that ended the episode was so interesting. I'm going to go find out who sang the song and what song that is, but that was so interesting. But overall, this particular episode of Rumor Has It was so emotional and a bit difficult to watch. You know, I hate watching people suffer. And so I could feel Franklin's pain, I could feel Dolakwa's pain, Rossi was annoying me, Khadija and Michelle were annoying me. I was just like, let this episode just come and go. <laughs> what do you guys think about this episode of Rumor Has It? Let's continue the conversation down below in the comment section. Was Dolapo justified? Was Franklin justified? I want to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think? Are you feeling Femi right now? If you are Tim Femi, I also want to hear from you. Whatever the case is, make sure to leave your comments down below in the comment section. Most importantly, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. And on that note, remain in God and God bless you. Bye.